Antibody drug conjugates, ADCs, are designed to selectively target and kill tumor cells, all while reducing off-target toxicity. ADCs combine targeted monoclonal antibodies, stable linkers, and cytotoxic agents. Monoclonal antibodies target antigens that are exclusively expressed on tumor cells with minimal to no expression on healthy cells. These monoclonal antibodies provide specificity to the ADC. Stable linkers chemically conjugate the cytotoxic agent to the antibody. They are designed to remain stable in systemic circulation and allow for intracellular release of active drug in antigen-expressing cells only. Cytotoxic agents are designed to induce tumor cell death after internalization of the ADC. They can be a thousand-fold more potent when delivered via this method. Monoclonal antibodies target and bind antigens exclusively expressed on tumors. The ADC antigen complex is then internalized through receptor-mediated endocytosis and is carried throughout the cell. This is followed by lysosomal degradation of the ADC and release of the cytotoxic agent into the cytoplasm. The released cytotoxic agent can penetrate the cell membrane and enter neighboring cancer cells, leading to cell death. Finally, the cytotoxic agent results in cell death in the target cancer cell as well. It is important to understand that the antibody-to-target ratio, linker strength, and type of payload impact the efficacy and toxicity of ADCs. Antibody specificity influences the amount of ADC that reaches the tumor cell. Suboptimal specificity and antigen expression can contribute to ADC distribution to normal tissue rather than cancer cells. Linker strength can influence ADC efficacy through the release of the cytotoxic agent. Cleavable linkers are less stable and release the cytotoxic agent at different times and places, contributing to higher systemic release. Non-cleavable linkers can only be degraded in the cancer cells. Cytotoxic agents can have varying potencies and mechanisms of action that influence ADC efficacy. The two major types are microtubule inhibitors and DNA-damaging agents. Given the limited number of molecules that reach the cancer cells, cytotoxic agents need to be particularly potent.